The band's history in one sentence, holy <laughs> period. From the first note that they start, it's intensity, it's aggression. We wanted to be something. We wanted to be a band eventually that, that toured and inspired people. It was overwhelming because I, I was actually on the sidelines seeing it just shoot up, shoot up. There'd be like 300 kids in front of the bus, not even letting the bus pull out of the venue. I don't think they were expecting to be rocked the way that they would be rocked. They were just at, they were just at the right age to just be blowing up right then. And You're not realizing, you know, what's actually happening because you're still in high school. The first song that we ever actually wrote was Brackish. It wasn't even supposed to be included on the album. You can go to one of their shows, get in the pit, and just lose yourself for 90 minutes and hope you don't come out with a broken nose. They made history, they were historically important, and they touched a lot of people. We you know, kept our noses, well, and our vaginas clean. Everybody knew who Kitty was because it was just that like raw teen angst, like I'm in high school and I just want to break something kind of metal, you know. And What's going to happen when you give teenagers a bunch of fame and money? It's either going to go one way or the other. I've often thought this was the end of the band all the time. Anytime you deal with anybody on a business level, there's always going to be some kind of drama. Why is my worth defined by my looks? Well, even now, you still get a lot of criticism for being girls, uh, not knowing how to play your instrument, or just sucking in general. If you displease certain people, you can become blacklisted, and I think that's essentially what happened. It was one of the wildest times of my life, without a shadow of a doubt. What else, what else is there to say? 